In this episode, we will discuss the details about stupa and chaitya. Stupas were constructed in sacred locations. These places were considered sacred because they were associated with Buddha's life. A stupa is a relic filled mound like or hemisphere structure used for meditation. From the Vedic time onwards, stupas were used as burial moons in India. It's a traditional depiction of a burial cumulus where the death's relics and ashes are maintained. The art of stupas reached its pinnacle during the era of Ashoka. During his reign, around 84,000 stupas were built. According to Buddhist tradition, the nine stupas were originally built following Buddha's death, eight over the relics and one over the vessel in which the relics were first put. They were built at Rajgriha, Vaishali, Kapilvastu, Allakapa, Ramgram, Vethadeep, Pava, Kushinagar and people one. Stupas were built over Buddha's relics. The stupa is made up of a cylindrical drum and a circular and with a harmic and chhatra on top which are mostly the same with minor variations in shape and size. Some important stupas are Sachi Stup which is located in Madhya Pradesh. It was constructed in the 3rd century BCE by Ashoka. Bricks were used to construct the original construction. It was afterwards covered with stone, Vedika and Toran. The stoop has four entrances with the southern one being the first to be completed. Others were added subsequently. The gateways are ornately carved and ornamented with statues. Since 1989, Sachi Stoop has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Dhamek Stupa in Sarnath in Uttar Pradesh The Dhamek Stupa is supposed to be built on the site of Rishipattan where after obtaining enlightenment, Buddha gave his first sermon to his first five Brahmin students, revealing his eightfold path leading to Nirvana. Amravati Stoop in Andhra Pradesh The Amravati Stoop, also known as the Great Stupa, of Amravati is a damaged Buddhist monument. It was probably built in phases between the 3rd century BCE and about 250 CE. The Archaeological Survey of India is in charge of safeguarding the site. The site's notable sculptures are now housed at a number of museums in India and overseas, many of which are severely damaged. Bharhut Stupa in Madhya Pradesh the Shungas adapted the Bharhut Stupa, which was originally erected by Ashoka. Unlike the Maurya's imperial art, the reliefs and figures in Bharhut Stup were provided by lay people, monks and nuns according to inscriptions on the railings. As a result, it is considered one of the earliest instances of Maurya's popular art. Nagarjun Konda in Andhra Pradesh Nagarjun Konda is an ancient town that is now an island at Nagarjun Sagar, west of the Amravati Stupa, another notable historic landmark. Nagarjun Konda is the home of the remnants of various Mahayan Buddhist and Hindu sanctuaries. It is one of India's most important Buddhist sites, but it is currently nearly fully submerged beneath the Nagarjun Sagar Dam. Piparwa in Uttar Pradesh Piparwa is most known for its archaeological site and excavations which imply that it was the site of the Buddha's ashes being handed to his own Shakya clan. The site contains a massive stupa as well as the ruins of many monasteries and a museum. At the nearby Ganeria Mound, ancient residential complexes and temples were discovered. Sonari Stupa in Madhya Pradesh Sonari is the ancient monastic complex of Buddhist Stupas' archaeological site. Sonari, like Sachi, is a Buddhist Stup complex with two major and five minor Stupas. Alexander Cunningham uncovered two boxes carrying relics while excavating the Stupa around 1850. During the post modern period, Stupas grew larger and more beautiful. Wood and brick were being phased out in favor of stone. The idea of Storans as artistically painted gates to Stupa was established by the Shunga dynasty. The torrents were carved with elaborate designs and patterns indicating Hellenistic influence. Chaitya 
इन इंडियन रिलीजन्स अ चैत्य चैत्य हॉल और चैत्य गृह इज अ श्राइन सेंचुरी टेम्पल और प्रेयर हॉल द टर्म इज मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज इन बुद्धिज्म टू डिस्क्राइब अ स्पेस विद अ स्तूपा एंड अ राउंडेड एप्सी एट द एंट्रेंस एज वेल एज अ हाई रूफ विद अ राउंडेड प्रोफाइल आउटसाइड इंडिया बुद्धिस्ट यूज द फ्रेज टू डिस्क्राइब लोकल काइंड ऑफ मिनियचर स्तूप लाइक मोन्यूमेंट्स इन नेपाल कम्बोडिया Indonesia and other countries. Chaitya refers to a temple, sanctuary or any sacred monument in Jainism and Hinduism's ancient scriptures, especially those dealing with buildings. The eastern parts of Andhra Pradesh are home to the ruins of a considerable number of structural Buddhist chaityas. Ruins dating from the 3rd century BC and later have been discovered in the districts of Srikakulam, Visakhapatnam, West Godavari, Krishna at Vijayawada, Guntur at Nagarjun Konda and Amravati. At Guntupalli, the largest brick chaitya hall was unearthed. The first comparable spaces to the chaitya hall date from the 3rd century BCE. The rock-cut Barabar caves were excavated by or for the Ajivikas, a non-Buddhist religious and philosophical organization of the time during Ashoka's reign. The columns lent in words to resemble wooden columns which would have been structurally necessary to protect the roof from collapsing. The barrel vaulted ceiling has antique wooden ribs put within it. The walls have a Mauryan gloss to them. It was once surrounded by a massive wooden front that has since vanished. Bhaja's Chaitya is the oldest remaining Chaitya hall. The magnificent Chaitya at Karle represents the pinnacle of Hainyan rock construction. The Mahayan Buddhist creed defines the second era of Buddhist architecture. It may be seen in some of the outstanding rock cut Chaityas at Ajanta in Maharashtra's Aurangabad area excavated between the 5th and 9th centuries AD during the Vakatak, Gupta and Rashtakuta dynasties. If you want to know about any other topic in Indian history, please leave it in the comment box so that I can come back with it. If you want to join the live classes, please contact on the details given in the description box. Thank you.